call the uh, Dixon County Commission meeting January 4th, 2018 to order. Please stand for Mike Sloot. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Approval of the agenda with the addition of consider the of the neighborhood revitalization program agreement for the city of Woodbine. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Then move to second. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda, minutes of the December 28th meeting, abatements of $680.10, added tax, $29.54, and utility wire payments of ten thousand six hundred and fifty eight dollars and ninety four cents I move we approve the consent agenda second it any discussion if not all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion carried Commissioner comments and committee reports Lauren well it's been a cold week <laughs> I think everybody realizes that that we did have some very cold days uh, this past week and I just hope that like I say everybody uh, everybody got along all right with those because it's usually problems occur when it gets down to zero and mm -hmm. you try to do your best to avoid those but it's it's a little different when it's down to zero uh, we did have John Holgram at a work session that gave us uh, an overview of, of his departments the uh, EMS and health and uh, he did had a very good year on Appreciate him coming and giving that report. That's all I got. Thank you. I have nothing. Presentation of petitions, proclamations. Oh, I guess there are any other public comments? No. Okay. Uh, presentation of petitions, proclamations, and other public comments. So we have the proclamation declared January 18th as National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. I don't and have it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and we have a representative from DVAC here as well. Do you like to come make some comments? My only comment is like if we're going to be through about this, or I mean, what I can say if everything is staying in this page and okay. in a very humble way. Where we question train was going by. Everything stated in the proclamation. Okay. Should I read part of it then? Mm -hmm. I'll read part of it here. Uh, National Slavery and Human Traffic and Prevention Proclamation, January 2018. Whereas millions of men, women, and children are victims of human trafficking, which is the second largest and fastest growing criminal industry in the world. Uh, uh, there's some whereas and stuff. I'll go down here. Now, therefore, we, the Dixon County Commissioners, do her hereby proclaim January 2018 as National Slavery and Youth Human Trafficking Prevention Month and applaud the efforts of the many victim service providers, police officers, prosecutors, national and community organizations, and private sector supporters for their efforts in opposing all human trafficking in all its forms. I make the motion we approve this. I'll say it. Been moved and second. Any other discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I think there's a second page here that I should have. There was two of them. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't sign this second page. Next proclamation to start January 18th as Stocking Awareness Month. January 18th, Stocking Awareness Month. Uh, whereas the stocking, whereas we, the county commissioners of Dixon County, recognize stocking as an international harassment, a pattern of behavior directed at a specific person, causing that person to feel endangerment, fear and endangerment of endangerment of the person's immediate family. The variations in stocking behavior range from hang-up phone calls to more direct threats toward the victims. The likelihood of injury increases with the stalking behaviors 
escalates over time. Whereas, under the laws of this county and the state of Kansas, stalking is a crime. I'll go on down now. Therefore, we, the Bixby County Commissioners, do hereby proclaim January 2018 as National Stalking Awareness Month and applaud the efforts of many victim services providers, police officers, prosecutors, national community organizations, and private sector supporters for their efforts in opposing stalking in all its forms. I'll make the motion we approve this. I'll say it. Move and second. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I'll get you. Can I get a photo? <laughs> <laughs> I know they won't take it without you, so. <laughs> yeah, I can step back there. <laughs> it made me mess up my spell my name there. It said photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go there with them. Yeah, you just go up there with them. Yeah. 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 This is, this is sexual harassment if you put your arm on my hand. <laughs> That's what I did. know how to stand up and get out of my hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm blushing. <laughs> Take the red out of the picture. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you. Notices of communications. Uh, we have a letter from the 8th Judicial District of uh, Community Corrections. Uh, it's our part of the billing from K Camp. Uh, our share is 5544.36. That's 18 percent of the budget. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it has all the liability insurance, each one of the lists. Broken down. I'll let you put that away. Seven, excuse me. I have a, from Janelle, the, uh, our 2017 fiscal for the budget for the commissioners. Uh, we have a notice uh, from safe night after prom from the Abilene High School, we, uh, each one of those five school districts, we uh, $500 for that. We have a magazine from the government, uh, Special Service, Special Issue Legislative Outlooks 2018, and then a Government Tech magazine. That's, that's all we have. From, yeah, we'll pass that on down. Then. Great support from since Brad is not here, he's off today. And I will say, uh, Lynn is off on uh, personal issues. Janelle, would you care? Sure. The IT position, the IT director position, is open, back open again. We're advertising again in several places. Just a reminder Representative Roger Marshall will be in Abilene on Friday from 10 to 11 at the Hitching Post if you so choose to attend. There are staffing reports from our HR director, Diane Greeno, and from myself regarding our year-end financials, so if you have any questions on those, I also included the sales tax report. We're a little under on our sales tax collections and what we had projected. We, I had, uh, we had budgeted 1.25 and we received 1.209, so about $40,000 difference. We're working with a contractor on the Rain, Rid Rain Road Bridge deck to be completed by lanes so that half the bridge will remain open during the project. That's an additional cost of about $1,500 for traffic control. We'll have more information on that and, and report next week on that. The 1100 block of Fair Road has a culvert with a hole in it, so the road was closed, and Martin is working with the township on that. And the 800 block of 3500 Avenue, they have a bridge that's bad so that road has been closed as well and Martin is working with those townships to see what's needed and we'll have some more information for you next week on that. We've also added the neighborhood revitalization agreement for the city of Woodbine um, to the agenda 
and future meeting January 24th will be County Government Day in Topeka. So that's all we have. I think I failed to mention, I think next week uh, is Law Enforcement Day, recognizing law enforcement. I think you're correct. Is it? So, wanted to make sure that we uh, show appreciation to all the law enforcement people and, and maybe even the firefighters are included in that. Okay. Looking here at the sales tax, Janelle, I see we're down $41,000 from what we anticipated. Yes. But we are above last year's. Last year was one point one eight four. 2016 yeah. was 1.184, yeah. 2017 was 1.209, so we are so, higher from the so, previous year. So we are, that's what I was thinking, we were higher than what we were last year. Yeah. Just not quite to our estimate. Not quite to our estimate, yes. Uh, notice the communication, I've done that. Unfinished business. None. Uh, other business approved the law enforcement agreement contract for the city of Enterprise, and the city of Solomon, and the city of Hope. There you are. You want to highlight anything, or you want me to, you know, what the increase has been? The sheriff has uh, decided to increase those contracts three percent, but it's a it's an annual contract that we will revisit again next year. Due to rising costs on our side, health insurance, vehicles, whatnot, that's one of the reasons why he chose to do that. He has spoken with each of those communities, so they are aware that this is coming. And normally they would see a 2% increase. We, we went with a 3% increase this year. And we've only been doing that increase just every other year. Every other year, correct. So it's not like it's so it's really averaging 1.5% a year. Right. I have a motion to approve the three contracts. We can approve all them together at yeah. one time or separately. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I move that we approve these three contracts with the city of Enterprise, Solomon, and Hope. Second it. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We can go ahead and the neighborhood revitalization if you want to talk about that. Actually, Doug might be would be better, and okay. I don't know if Doug has any staff report as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no staff report, but uh, the neighborhood revitalization uh, city of Woodbine was uh, interested in putting a neighborhood revitalization in to encourage businesses to relocate or locate there, and KDK um, had built a new facility. and. Uh, City Woodbine wants to try to help them out and put in a neighborhood revitalization. As you can imagine, you don't get a whole lot of new businesses coming to a small town like Woodbine. And so the neighborhood revitalization plan is to give uh, a 100% tax abatement for new businesses coming in, of which the only one that's there that would qualify at this time anyway is KVK. And so um, they don't have a plan in place. And so this creates a neighborhood revitalization plan. And if KBK submits an application, then that can be up for consideration. A copy of that neighborhood revitalization has been given to the school district. And of course, the city of Woodbine has already approved it. And so if the county approves it, why then it would be in that posture to uh, be in place. I'll send it to the attorney general's office next for approval. And uh, if it passes that, then uh, there would be a neighborhood revitalization plan. And any business that thought they would qualify within the city limits of Woodbine would be able to make application. Do we have a copy of that? Mm -hmm. I remember I signed it and didn't even see it there. Is it among this? It should be. Is it among this? 
I didn't even see mm -hmm. it when I was going through it. Now that it was by itself, and it should have. Are they are they together? Oh, right here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right. I'm off my game today. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be chairman today. <laughs> okay. Got me shook here. Uh, okay. This doesn't have any percentages in of what the re, uh, what the tax redemption would be then, Doug, or that's all. No, but it's contemplated that it would be 100% uh, for a 10-year period. Yeah. Okay. Of time. I didn't know if that was part of this agreement. I'm, that'd be a different uh, animal, so to speak, uh, I guess. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I move we uh, approve the neighborhood revitalization plan in local agreement with the city of Woodbine. Oh, do we have a? Oh, I'm sorry. Do we have a? Number for this? A resolution number? Yes. There should be one in there. There's not. I'll let you put it 18. on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's I see down your resolution number. Uh, with that number being put into the appropriate spot. I'll second it. Any other discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Oh, we do have, um, wasn't on the agenda, doesn't need to be, but we have to sign the uh, pay raises approved by the county commission for the elected officials, and we'll do that after the meeting. If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Ah, darn it, darn <laughs> Second it. Right here. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and hit it. We adjourn. <laughs> by unanimous consent.